Hi everyone and welcome to Anna Dialog, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we're going to explore a very important audio format, actually the best audio format available out there. This is going to be the first video of a series of videos dedicated to this format. What am I talking about? I'm talking about tape and more specifically reel-to-reel -reel tapes. Yes, because this is the best format out there and obviously there are different kinds of tapes and we're going to explore them and we're going to learn how to correctly reproduce them and where to find the best typologies of machines and tapes. Let's take a look. Okay, before we start, it's good to have a few reflections on a few aspects regarding tape. Um, as we saw in a prior video, here you can see a link, um, we've discussed about audio cassettes, which we can say it's at the base in terms of resolution and quality. Today, now we're going at a step above. Nevertheless, audio cassettes tapes, tapes which um, go at one inch uh, and seven eighths of an inch per the speed is certainly considered the worst typology of tape reproduction. Although, as I said in that prior video, um, the technology uh, went so evolved so much that the machines, high end machines, high top quality like Nakamichi, Tanberg, uh, achieved astonishing, astonishing results. That's why. Um, these little guys here are comparable sometimes to this because this and other typologies did not evolve unfortunately stop were stop uh, the production stopped a little earlier plus this was also a, a much more cheaper format which which is also why this continued to be distributed at the at the broad public hence much more income and that's why a lot more people invested on them but turning back to our reel-to-reel -reel four track, we're talking about four track tapes in this video. In the next videos, we're going up, higher up in the scale of quality and in terms of tracks and speed, etc. Today, we're gonna talk about, as we said, reel-to-reel uh, -reel tapes, four tracks, which usually have this um, typology of dimension, which goes on something like this, this typology of machine. Obviously, we can have even larger pancakes or reels, no problem with that. But this is the standard format, especially if we're talking about pre-recorded tapes. Now, what's the important part about these? Well, first of all, I wanna tell you that back in the 50s and 60s, in order to buy one of these, you're, you were supposed to spend like about $14. I mean, it's a very, very high. And these were extremely expensive, hence a high-end product, throughout their lifetime. So only now we can start to benefit, finally, of, of, of these machines. I, for example, picked up this machine, which is a four-track recorder Philips N4520 from eBay for uh, $300. And it's in excellent, an excellent shape. So turning back to our four-track uh, typology of tapes, what do we have to look? It's very important to check the speed. First of all, because you have to know what kind of machine you need. But at the same time, it's worth knowing because um, if we consider a three and three quarters of an inch speed, we're gonna have a much lower quality results instead of that of, for example, here we have a fantastic uh, version of Led Zeppelin, which goes instead in seven and a half inch per second. Now this is fundamental. If you want to start to do this and you're going to look hunt for tapes, you're going to hunt for a good machine, go directly to seven and a half because there is a huge difference between these two, uh, these two um, speeds. Probably if you buy a machine capable of accepting a seven and a half inch per second machine in speed, you're probably going to have also a three and um, three quarters type of speed. I mean, usually 
uh, both both of these speeds are included if you have a higher speed like example for example even 15 inch per second even though 15 inch per second mostly are is mostly used in a professional environment and in that of regarding a two track typology of tape but we're going to see that in another tape in another video today we're going to explore these little guys let's take a look okay so when we're going to choose our machine we have to look at these two important aspects the equalization and the speed as we already said we have to look at these different kinds of speed if the machine is capable of dealing with all of all of these here for example on the left we can see that we have three and three quarter of an inch per, uh, per second speed seven and a half inch per second speed and also 15 inch per second speed we, on the other side we have the uh, correspondent speed in centimeter, centimeters for european standards so we're for the four track we're interested in the three and three quarters and the seven and a half and as i said before the best thing is to look for a seven and a half inch per second that's the best quality you can have for four tracks for four track tapes um also a good feature is if you're looking to uh, reproduce not only pre-recorded uh, tapes a good idea is also to have a machine capable of playing IEC equalization uh, roughly said the NAB NAB equalization is that found in America while in the rest of uh, the, the Western civilization we could say in, in, in Europe we have the EIC also known as CCIR CICIR or EHC these are the two the the NAB and the EHC are the two standards that we can find for the equalization and as I said all pre-recorded cassettes in America are NAB but if you want to find listen to something else coming from Europe you're going to need that and there you can reproduce your your tapes if your cassette if your tape deck can only handle nab or can only handle eac uh, the the downside you're going to have a, a lower quality you're going to have some issues in the in the reproduction nothing serious you, you can appreciate the music but it's better to know and to have a machine capable of reading the correct equalization that you're finding on your tape okay let's so let's try uh listen to a tape before saying that as we as we have seen you can find fantastic editions of these tapes remember four track seven and a half inch per speed and these sound i must say incredible the only problem here is that um these tapes of famous pop rock bands are extremely extremely expensive uh the the cost of these especially on ebay drops if you're if you start looking for the three and three quarter of an inch per second speed obviously because the, the resolution is a lot it's lower so uh the quality is lower and people are uh, looking for them much less in proportion to the higher speed versions although these are are good they're decent but you're missing out from something excellent instead if we're moving towards something like this again we're always in four tracks obviously in seven and a half inch per second uh, also in Europe or in used shops garage sales I'm sure you can find things about like jazz or also you can find very good um, classical music tapes which do have a lower price than rock and pop unfortunately rock and pop is highly collectible and um these other genres are surely more uh more cheaper so let's let's try to see for example if we pick this cassette this tape uh this reel actually of oscar peterson sol espanol nice album with a latin touch so one thing you're going to need is going to have a pickup spool because otherwise you're not going to be able to wind up the tape so we're gonna we're gonna put that on the right because that's where the tape is gonna be in pick up picked up while on the left side instead we're gonna have the actual reel 
This is the standard closing mechanism, which is called chine, which you just turn and lock, locks the cassette. When we go, when we'll see other types of reels, um, the, the typology of closing mechanisms, the clasps change dramatically, and that's gonna be a big issue, and we're gonna talk about that when we're gonna take a look at uh, two-track typologies of reels and machines. So, let's turn on our machine. Unfortunately, when I bought this, one, one little light bulb wasn't working, but for the rest, it's perfect. You have to literally put the tape in the mechanisms in here, in here, in here. This is a little tricky. You're gonna have to start learning how to do this. Also, you have to make sure um, not to uh, somehow a good idea, for example, is to put a piece of tape like this, then it's easier. You wind it up a little bit, and then you're set. Obviously, you have to make sure that the same face of the of the of the tape, the in, inside part, is always facing the the heads in here and in the pickup spool. The, all the other commands you don't need if you're not interested in recording. As we said, we we just need the equalization and the correct speed, which in, in this case is a seven and a half inch. So we're good. And let's hear. Let's stop a sec. So uh, when the tape is going to be all collected on the other spool, at that point, unless you have a machine that has the capability of having an auto reverse, which are very few actually, and they're very expensive. And I do not suggest, because unfortunately do, you, you might have some problems with azimuth, like in cassette tape decks. You just have to flip this over. I know it's not very, um, it's kind of annoying, but if you maintain the correct face of the tape running through the system, it's not that long a procedure. And that's the, the fun part about tape, I think. See, that's it. Remember to fix both spools, you just hit play, and we're done. Before closing the video, I think it's useful to take a look at the best machines that we need to reproduce the four track tapes. Um, although the uh, typology dedicated to two track tapes are much better and in a professional high end section sometimes you can we can find machines capable of doing both things if you think of going also at a two track that which means a higher level of quality but also higher level also of cost in tapes in terms of virgin tape if you want to record your own music or in playback tape if you want to buy from someone else, master tapes or things or pre-recorded tapes with two tracks. But let's go back to four track tape typologies. Um, if we must buy a four track tape uh, machine, which as I said, uh, may also deal with two track tapes, the Technic Technics models, the RS line is probably the best. They are very versatile, as you can see, uh, the best um, typologies is the RS1500, which has a two-track capability of recording with a four-track capability, capability of playback. Uh, similarly, you can see the same thing reversed for the uh, 1506, or the best of all is probably the uh, 1520U, which, as you can see, has a two-track uh, recording capability and a four-track uh, um, playback capability. Plus, it has the possibility, which is something rather rare for these typologies of machine machines, to select the equalization, which means you can change the you can have the NAB and the IEC typology, which is which is is important if you're going outside of what are the pre-recorded tapes. 
uh, you, you also have other aspects for the bias and accelerator panel all things that are useful more to uh, rec for recording also the um, other uh, the other typologies are good but the best are these three and I would say the best the top of all is the, the 1520 although unfortunately they are high, highly desirable and they go for crazy mm, prices now unfortunately so if you're lucky enough to find a good one in a decent shape at a decent price go for it but I understand these are kind of pricey the same thing regards also the Otari in this case the MX 5050 B32 this is the, the top of the tops you can recognize it also from these gray knobs uh, prior models which are, are decent um, are have have black knobs and also again here uh, which this was actually in production since just a few months ago uh, two years one or two years ago it was still in production unfortunately they dismissed even this activity otari but um this is an excellent uh, it's practically considered a professional or semi-professional tape deck and again we have the possibility of um, recording and having playback in um, a two two track for, for recording and four track for playback and the, the possibility to select the equalization so these are among, are among probably the best but apart from that I mean you don't have to go to the top of the tops uh, Revox is a huge brand which comes from the the higher level Studer based in Switzerland these obviously are excellent machines this is probably the best of them the B77 MK2 which was also in a two track version which had a lot of success but also in a four track version I highly suggest these these were uh, sold a lot and you can find a lot of spare pieces which make them even more desirable because it's much more easy to service this than uh, something like that like this for example but um, I mean there are lots of models you just look what check the the specs that you're looking for for example equalization or the speed or the capability of dealing with two and four track uh, types of tape you, it, it's up to you also for example Tasca made excellent models uh, as well as Akai uh, all these Japanese uh, brands are, are, are excellent so um really you just need to to go around look for eBay or a good deal check on on the different kinds of forums or or even if you want to drop a, a message on the, on the on the channel and i'll try to answer you because i mean there are lots and lots of models especially for the consumer section which is covered by the four track and in that case i mean uh it, as soon as you see that the the, the the requirements the specifications you wanted are there just make sure the heads are in good condition that's very important because if the heads are um, consumed in a wrong way which means ha they're gonna have some kind of uh, bad shape or anything then don't then stay away from that machine the heads must be in good shape nice and shiny and and, and homogeneous on the surface otherwise you're gonna have some issues or you're gonna throw your machine after just a few um, a few months so okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my channel please leave your questions here below and also your, your ideas or suggestions for other typologies of tapes and some ideas or tips on how to achieve the best type of sound with these machines uh, and thank you for watching bye